This is question four from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told there are a total of 120 counters in a box. There are only red counters and blue counters in the box. There are three times as many red counters as blue counters. Carl takes one third of the red counters from the box. Kerry takes 80% of the blue counters from the box. We're asked to work out the ratio of the number of red counters to the number of blue counters now in the box. And we're also asked to give it in its simplest form. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out, we're going to use, we're basically going to work our way through each of these statements um, and, and kind of update what we know uh, as we go. So we start off knowing that there are 120 in total. So we're told that there. Then we're told that there are only red and blue and that there are three times as many red counters as blue counters in the box. So what we can say is that the number of reds to blues is in the ratio 3 to 1. So sharing out 120 in the ratio 3 to 1, we can say that that is 120 divided by 4 to get 30. And so then multiplying that by 3, we know that there are 90 red counters and there are 30 blue counters. We're then told that Carl takes one third of the red counters. Now, if there are 90, so one third of 90, there are 90 reds, so one third of 90 is going to be 30. So if he's taken a third, if he's taken 30 out, that means that there are 60 red counters left in the box. I'm just going to write that down there. It says here that Kerry is taking 80% uh, of the of the blue counters. Now there are 30 blue counters. So we're going to calculate 80% of 30. And so what we can say is that 80% of 30, well, 10% would be 3, so 80% would be 24. So that means that Kerry's taking 24, which means that there would be six blue counters left in the box. So we've got our ratio of red to blue. Now all we need to do is give our answer in its simplest form. And what we can see here is that we need to find a number which we can divide both of these by, and we can divide both of them by 6. So 60 divided by 6 will give us 10, and 6 divided by 6 will give us 1. So our final answer here is 10 to 1.